Hi, my name is Jamie Seabrook from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. I'm Brad Seabrook from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Jamie's son. And we have an 81 International Eagle Broom. We found it in Sudbury, Ontario uh, about two years ago. A fellow posted a picture of it on Facebook. We contacted the guy that put the picture on. He sent us the address where it is. We Googled the address. Found the company name. I emailed the company. The fellow emailed me back for the phone number, told me to give him a call. I talked to him a couple times. My son went up the week next following week and looked at it. Took some money, put a deposit down on it, and the rest was history. And speaking of history, what's your history with wanting one of these? Uh, I guess when I was 10, 11 years old, a guy local to my area had one of these. And I always liked it as a kid and always wanted one. And just looked and looked and looked for years and never been able to find one. The poster came to real life. poster came to real life, exactly. <laughs> and what, what do you think about this truck? <laughs> oh, I think it's super cool. And <clears throat> the fact that it's such a low mileage truck with only 382,000 kilometers on it and one owner with a KT in it on International Spring Ride is a pretty cool, pretty cool spec for one of these, I think, myself. And so. did they come with KTs or what? I think you could order them with whatever with engine. KTs or you could get Detroit's in the more cats. Mm -hmm. And only 300 were made, is that right? So that's what I've been told, 300 conventionals, 300 cab overs. These are the only two I've ever seen up here. Yeah, and the fact that there are two of them beside each yeah. other yeah. right yeah. now. Is this the first time they've both been at the same yep. show? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we just finished this one last night yeah. at, about, at about 9.30, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so what were so, you what were you doing to it yesterday? Oh, I don't know, just a few finishing little touches. Gave it a wash last night, and I guess put all the nut covers and all the stainless little goodies on it. I guess. And I know Charlie's here has the the sink and everything in it. Did they yep. come with a sink? Yep. In yeah, they all came with the sink in it. I know you've got it. It. Do you have plans to totally restore it? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Next time I see you. I hope so. <laughs> I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> next year it'll next be. Next summer. Yeah, Clifford. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely. It'll be there. And it better be done. The clock is ticking. <laughs> clock is ticking, yeah. <laughs> well, just need to pad my bank book a bit more. <laughs> I feel you there. I definitely feel you there. Uh, you said engine transmission? Did yeah, KT450 Cummins. 15-speed mm -hmm. transmission. 15-speed? Yep. All right. 12 and 44s, Hendrix and Spring. Do you know what it did for its career? I know it didn't run a lot. But... No, as far as I know, the guy had a float, float company. He used the floated equipment with it. It's a relatively easy life. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I was told when I picked it up that the guy's father was retiring or starting to slow down and I traded his cab over in on this truck and got it and just used it as like a part-time kind of retirement type thing. Didn't really use it a whole lot. Nice. So. Good for you guys then. Yeah, we're well, lucky. Very lucky to find it. Yeah, yeah this lucky. is amazing. The truck was a factory double frame, but the way it was, the way it was, International had like bolted the whole outer frame rail just on the side of it, right behind the motor mounts. So we were able to just strip the suspension and the fuel tanks and everything off of it and pop the outer rail off and got lucky that the inner rail was pretty clean still and was able to just, you know, bolt everything back onto it and then sandblast it and paint it and everything. So, so, and I guess we started this, started this whole deal at the beginning of, at the beginning of May. Is that when you bought it? No, we bought it two years ago, I guess, yeah. but just really got got into wanting to have it done for this did that got new cross members made for the back of the truck new battery box made it was rotten the fuel tanks were rebarreled they were all banged up so so i know got pretty lucky really the truck yeah, was in good shape it's original the mufflers are all original steps original all the steps on the fuel tanks are originals hubs original so you can get the ih on the hubs oh that, and i gotta look closer yeah ih on the suspension up here too i will look and on the front of the def too <laughs> Stamped in the bottom in here. 